<clears throat> what the fuck? So, uh, apparently you really liked that video. Didn't know if I was wanting to make another one since I feel like I was painting myself as some sort of druggy, which isn't true, okay? Drugs are bad and you shouldn't do them. But this video series is a cash cow and honestly, I'm totally fine shelling out for it. Sellout time. Subscriber, you're a bitch. Sellout over. Again, please don't get the wrong idea of me. I'm not a big drug user. They can make you do stupid things like ruining relationships and or almost getting you arrested. Anyway, this is the time that I almost got arrested. I would just like to point out that a lot of this was attributed to my friend, not me. I was just caught in the crossfire, and I also happened to be high. So in my junior year of high school, this was probably my biggest, like, stoner phase. I wasn't doing it, like, every day, but pretty much every week I would get high at least once. All of this completely at school as well. This story takes place in math class with me and my friend, let's call him Tyler. Tyler was kind of an idiot. Not in like the literal sense, in the sense that he was constantly on something, so he was completely checked out. Rationality and deductive reasoning were not even concepts to him. Just white noise constantly playing in his brain. But he was a nice guy. So every day in math class, we would make it a point to smoke before we went, just so we could have any hope of getting through it. You know when you have that teacher who just has no personality in their voice, or heck, no personality at all? Like, their whole image is just, I teach this class. Y yeah, yeah, that. So every day before class, we would find this one room inside of our building that had a window and no fire alarm detectors. No one ever caught us. It was the perfect place. It was out of sight, out of mind, and it was super quick too. So one day me and him got like particularly high. Like we were already having a bad day. So we decided just kind of, I don't know, kick it up a few notches. So after I do my thing, I tell him I'm going to start heading to class. So he looks at me and he goes, oh, okay, I'm I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick so i'm like cool so i make it to math class and i would say about 20 minutes go by and i don't see him anywhere then all of a sudden the fire alarm starts going off there was no drill set for today so this was real so we all start evacuating the classrooms they get everybody outside and lined up and keep in mind i am extremely high so i'm like extra paranoid like i'm wondering like how many people am i gonna have to sacrifice to get out of here alive so as we're all standing outside it just clicks. The one brain cell I had left finally decided to start working. And I realize there are fire detectors in the bathrooms. They're super sensitive to smoke and Tyler's an idiot. I'm like, am I confident that he would know better than to not smoke after he went to the bathroom? No. So as much as I was cursing his name, like, God damn it, Tyler, you freaking idiot he's my best friend i had to save him we're ride or die you don't you don't ditch your homies so i sneak out of the line and i find my way back inside the school i don't think i would have ever done this if i were sober i don't know if it was the weed because again i was extremely high so i am running back to the bathrooms and as i get right outside of the door i see tyler sauntering out of the bathroom holding a blunt he looks over at me and just says hey why aren't you in class so i angrily explain the situation to him and begin shoving him to try and get him back outside in an ideal world i would have liked to not be seen but things don't always go the way you want them to there's like a teacher outside of every door so we end up getting caught and the fire department is here along with some cops Apparently, they sent a bunch of people in because I left before they took attendance and me and him were not accounted for. So they ended up sending a couple people inside to come find us. They figured out what started the fire alarm and I got suspended for a week. Tyler got suspended for two weeks. My parents were pissed. This story is an honorable mention. It's super quick. On my birthday, my friend uh, snuck me into a construction site and made me smoke a bowl in a bulldozer. Now that's a good friend. Personally, I think that the story I told you at the beginning was one of my biggest doing things while high story. It had the most impact and was probably the most potential for trouble. All the other stories after that are 
pretty mundane and normal, so this will probably be my last video on doing things while high. But I would like to say thank you guys so much for the support. My channel has grown so quickly in such a short amount of time thanks to that video. I am so close to 2,000 subs, so if you wouldn't mind dropping a subscribe, that'd be great. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps me out. Thank you all again for the support, and I'll see you in the next one. And now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear and state my case of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway and more much more than this i did it my 